Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a formula that I use that has helped me become more successful in pretty much every area of my life. And this is primarily a business channel, but the formula you're going to learn here can be applied to your health, your fitness, your relationships, your social life. It can be applied to anything right outside of business as well. So watch this video until the end. You're going to see what the success formula is and how to use it to improve every area of your life. Now, if you're new here, my name is Sean. And on this channel, I teach you how to create internet income from writing online. So if you want more content around that, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And with that said, let's get into this success formula and the video right now. So this success formula comes down to this V times T times S equals success. And I'm going to share what each of these letters stands for first and then share with you examples of how to apply this and how this works in real life. So the V in this equation stands for volume and volume is just how much actions you are taking in a certain area to achieve success. So for example, let's say that you are starting an agency or you're a freelancer and your idea of success is landing clients. Well, in this case, volume could be measured in terms of how many cold outreach messages you're sending, how many cold emails, how many Facebook messages, or how many LinkedIn messages and Instagram messages are you sending? If your goal or idea of success is losing 10 pounds, your volume might be how many reps are you doing in the gym or how many workouts are you doing per week? Now, typically someone who has a higher V or higher volume has more opportunities for success and they have a higher likelihood of success because they're taking more shots, right? They're taking more actions, but there's a catch. It needs to go hand in hand. The V or the volume needs to go hand in hand with the T in the, in the formula, which is time. And time is defined in how long you have been working towards a specific goal or working towards success in a certain area. So obviously the more time you spend doing something and the more time you spend chipping away towards your goal, the higher your chance of success is going to be. And T is super important because the V in the equation volume without time, it's not very effective, right? You can have a ton of volume for one day, but if you give up after one day, it's not going to pay off. So for example, let's go back to the agency and freelancer example. If your idea of success is getting clients and you're sending 50 cold emails a day, which is the volume but you only do it for seven days. Your, your chances of success are pretty low because you're not spending a lot of time doing this, right? So your volume might be high on a one day period or a one day scale or a seven day scale, but you're not doing it over a long period of time. Now compare that to somebody who sends 50 cold emails a day, but instead of seven days, they're doing it over 365 days over a year. They have way more chances of achieving their goal because they're doing it over a longer period of time, a year versus just one week. So if you're not achieving success and you're not hitting your goals, a lot of that has to do with the time part of the equation, because you might be taking a lot of action in short bursts, but you're not doing it consistently over a long period of time. You're not chipping away at your goals over a longer period of time. Now, the other thing about the V and the T in the equation is it increases and improves the S in the equation. And the S is skill. So skill is an obvious one. Skill is how good you are at the thing you're doing. If you have a high level of skill, you need less volume and less time to find success because your skill level is high. But here's the thing, you improve your skill, especially if you're just getting started, you improve your skill through volume and through time, right? Putting in the reps consistently over a long period of time. So for example, I've been writing emails every day for, uh, for years, for a long period of time. And so I've been writing an email every day. I've been doing this for years. So I've got the V and the T in the equation down. I have the volume and I have the time put in. And so my skill at this point is a lot higher than someone who's just getting started. So nowadays I can just spend 10 to 30 minutes writing up these short emails. I can send it out to my list and make a bunch of money from those simple emails that don't take me much time, but it's only because I've built up this skill over a long period of time and doing a lot of these emails every single day. So my skill level is only at this level because of how many emails I've written and the amount of time that I put in to writing these emails. So just remember that the S in the equation skill is developed over a ton of volume over a long period of time, right? Doing the work over a long period of time so that you can build up this skill. So that right there is the formula, the success formula that I use to improve my life in pretty much every area. So again, the V stands for volume. That's how much action you are taking to achieve success in a certain area. The T is time, which is how long have you been putting in the work and putting in the actions towards achieving your goal. And the S is skill, right? How good are you at the thing that you're doing? And that is actually built up through volume and through time. So if you're looking at your life in a certain area, like your business or your, your health or your fitness, and you're wondering, Hey, why am I not achieving these results? Why am I not seeing success? 
And if you look at this equation, V times T times S, you can probably see one of these areas is lacking, right? Maybe you're not doing enough volume. Maybe you're not putting in enough time and, and just giving yourself enough time to achieve the result. And maybe you just need to build up your skill a little more, which comes through volume and time. So this success formula has helped me to make more money. It's helped me to build multiple successful businesses. It helped me to get in shape and lose weight and also helped me to improve my relationships, not only with my wife, Jackie, but with my friends. And using this formula has helped me in so many different ways in my life. So once again, the formula is V times T times S equals success. Apply this formula to anywhere where you wanna be more successful in your life. Now, one more thing, if you'd like to see how to use this formula to build an email-based business, go to seananthony.co and you're gonna get my free 1K a day offer of a fake course. So you opt in for that, you get that free course, and you're gonna get my daily tips around creating internet income from writing online. And that's gonna be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.